you walk around and people think you're crazy until they get out of the car. <laughs> and then they smell it? Oh, yes. I mean, I've got six of them around me within two miles. Well, my concern is getting rid of the stink. It's so bad you can't stand it when you go outside. You've got to stop it someplace. I, I raised hogs for years, and it never bothered me until till now. And uh, it's the odor. I've got three north of me, and a hair east, and I've got three southwest of me. So there's approximately, I don't know how many each confinement holds, but I'm sure there's uh, two, four, six, or probably at least 12, 14,000 hogs. Lots of hogs. Great grandchildren, I got two of them, one three, one four. And my concern is their lungs. Breathing this, what what's it going to do to them? Maybe maybe not nothing for a few years, but down the road it's gonna show. And when it does, then what do you do? Of course, I went down to the county supervisors on that one and just ripped them. <laughs> I'm not a nice person when I get mad, so. <laughs> but it seems like it takes a lot to get you mad. Oh, it does. It takes forever. I'm real easy going. So this, so hog confinements have really affected you to get you that upset? Oh, real bad. And unless a person lives down there by them, they, they don't know. I mean, anybody can say, well, that, it, it can't be that bad. Well, come on down. I'll show you. And now, just go ahead and stay out here a while. See, you know, see how you like it. I can tell them how they won't like it. <laughs> no fresh air. You, can't, you cannot open your windows and open the doors. It's smells so bad. Since we've gotten some new neighbors with hog confinements, uh, we, our dog cannot stand the flies. So they won't eat his uh, food out on the deck. Uh, it just goes and hides. Like she said, the flies are bad. I can remember one day there when I was going out of the house, the inside of my storm door was just covered with flies on the inside. Not on the outside, on the inside. <laughs> In my garage, the, the floor is just covered with flies. I've never had that before in my life. Well, the flies are on the screen door going into the house to the actual white screen door, but it's black. Sometimes that's how bad they are. I live within a half a mile of two, and my biggest complaint is you really can't plan anything because you never know what direction the wind's going to be in. and You might have a barbecue planned and you have to cancel. You can't go outside. That it was so bad when I walked out, or the neighbor called me and said, have you been outside? And I said, no. She said, well, put a mask on before you go out. And that's how bad that was that day. The wind was out of the southwest that day. So it was bringing it right straight up to us. Yeah, you gotta run your air conditioner 24 hours a day, when, during, the, especially during the summer, because you just cannot open the windows or doors. It's just that bad. My thoughts, uh, thinking back on moving to Grinnell from our farm, the thing that bothered me the most, probably, was the fact that someone could move in beside you 
and could go into business and destroy your property. Not, not just my property, but also my neighbor's property. And it occurs all over the state. It cost us probably $60,000 in property value when we sold our place just because someone else wanted to make money at our expense. Nobody else can come in and do that to their neighbor, but it happens in rural Iowa. And it's sad that that happened because it had been in my family for over a hundred years. We would get together as children, I remember this, and every Sunday. It was very pleasant, but then it became even difficult to go outside. In the beginning we dealt with hog confinements and I guess we kind of thought, well, maybe we'd put up with that. But it wasn't very pleasant to put up with it. And then we went in, within a mile of us was a large chicken confinement. that had a very, very terrible smell. I've lived there since 99. And it's, is it pretty different now? Than oh, when you first... God, considerably. 99, there wasn't... Uh... There might have been one hog confinement north of me, maybe one south, southwest. So now I can walk out my back door and you can, you can count the, the roofs of five of them. From looking to the southwest, now if I look to the north, I can count about four more. So I'm, I'm less than two miles from all of them if you go with the way the crow flies. I mean, yeah, take the road, yeah, that's different, but the way the crow flies, he don't, he don't follow the road. So. Neither does the smell. <laughs> <laughs> when you have the, the view on the horizon less than a mile away, there's two million chickens in the houses and that's what you look at. It isn't the rural countryside. It's a massive uh, industrial livestock operation that stinks, and it's, a, and, a, and it's constantly there, and it's something that I could put up with it if it was my neighbor, but it's not. This is somebody that came in here from out of state and is just destroying the rural Iowa landscape for profit for itself. It has nothing to do with my neighbor. Uh, these people are not neighbors. They don't even live there. The only people that live there are people that make very poor wages. In the evening, if you want to go sit out on the porch, it's impossible to do that because of the smell, but, but just the way of life, going outside, getting some tomatoes, Simple things, but they're important things. And it's, and it's people that don't live in the country that really don't realize this, but you have to realize that this is what is destroying rural Iowa. It's not just my neighbors. When they come in and they take over and they move farmers out, and when they come in, then the businesses go in town, and so we're, we just keep losing population. And, and, and rural Iowa is just is disappearing. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and anybody that looks through, go drives through a small town can see that. And it's a result of this type of agriculture that's doing it.